Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I'm going to show you how to pull a 90 degree bend and an offset alter set measurements. So this could be used, for example, if you were training on a level two plumbing course. This bend is one of the hardest ones to do. So if you're a little bit uncertain, watch some of my earlier videos where I explain in greater detail bending techniques involved. Step one, draw a linear diagram to scale with all the right angles and measurements. Place your cut pipe on the bottom of the 90 degree bend. We're going to do the 90 degree bend first because that's easier to measure out and get right. We then draw a line, like so, where we want the centre of the pipe to be bent to, like this. Place our pipe into the pipe bender, where the end we've marked goes on the end where the stop is. So the 125mm mark goes the side where the stop goes like so. Then using a square and a piece of 15 mil pipe, we put the square and pipe onto the former like this. And this is what a 90 degree bend will look like. So we now need to get our 125 mil line to touch the center of where that pipe is lined up like so we can now proceed to bend the pipe 90 degrees remember the marks on the bender are only a rough guide, so you would need to check with a square, especially if you are training for an assessment. We now need to mark the center of the 45 degree bend. When we do this, we need to make sure that the center of the vertical 90 degree pipe is in line with the line, like so. We now put the pipe back into the pipe bender so it looks like this. Using a folding ruler we set the angle to 45 degrees we then place the folding ruler so it touches the former on both sides there and there and it's also got to be parallel with the pipe so that's not parallel with the pipe so it's parallel there and it's touching two sides of the former. Okay, so once again it's touching two sides of the former and it's the rule is parallel with the pipe. Once we've done this, we then mark 
here, which is the center, where the center of a 45 degree bend is going to go. We now need to line up the line we marked on the pipe earlier, so that, which is the center of the 45 degree bend, to the center of the 45 degree bend where we worked it out on the former. So, like so. The pipe is in the right place to be bent 45 degrees, but before we do that, we need to make sure that it is straight and in alignment. So, like this, not like that, like this. It's hard to show you on camera. When we bend the pipe, You can use the marks on the former as a gauge to where 45 degrees is going to be, but it's recommended that you use the folding ruler set to the 45 degree angle for extra accuracy, like so. Place your work back onto the drawing. We now need to bend the last 45 degree bend to make up the 60 mil offset. Right, so how we do this is we use the former on the line, like this. And then get the ruler, and we then draw a straight line across. Like that. We then put our work back into the pipe bender, so it looks like this. And what we need to do is the line we just drew, we need to make sure that, that is touching the edge of the former. We are now ready to bend the pipe 45 degrees. But before we do this, we need to make sure that everything is in a line. So an example, that's not in line. So.
You can also check everything by running a straight object across the pipe like this. And finally, we need to cut the end of the pipe so that it's 310 millimeters long, as per the specification of this assessment. Now you know how to pull this, it's your turn to have a go.